हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू जनरेट पब्लिक की एंड हाउ टू जनरेट द प्राइवेट की एंड हाउ टू लॉक अनलॉक फाइल यूजिंग दिस की सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू आउट ऑफ पब्लिक की एंड प्राइवेट की विच की टू जनरेट रिमेंबर आउट ऑफ पब्लिक की एंड प्राइवेट की प्राइवेट की इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज If you have private key, then with the help of private key, you can easily, you can easily like you know create the public key. So if you have the private key, then you can easily generate the public key. That's why private key is more important. <coughs> Today I am going to show you how to generate the public key and private key using RSA algorithm. So let's start. First of all. Create a directory. Suppose mkdir data. Okay, let clear this screen. Mkdir test. Suppose mkdir test. Go inside this test directory using cd command. Then create a file here. Suppose create any file a dot txt. This is a demo file. I write anything inside this file like this is just a demo file. Then you can write my name Satish Tiwari, Jaipur City. Okay, then you can type my institute name, Ethical Hacking Tuition Center. Okay, once you type this, okay, once you type the write the content of your file, you can save this file. So I have created the file and I have saved the content of the file. Now you can see there is a file a.txt and you can see the content of this file. Now this file is not encrypted because anyone who has the access of my system can see the content of this file. But I want to encrypt this file with the help of private key. So first of all, how to uh, like uh, how to create the private key and how to create the public key. Remember, public key is used to lock the file or encrypt the file, while private key is used to decrypt or decode the file. So first of all, we have to generate private key. The command to generate the private key is open SSL. Okay, this is the command. Gen RSA means generate using RSA algorithm. Because I told you, I am going to show you how to create public key and private key using RSA algorithm. So gen key, and then you can give the name of the private key. Any any name you can give, but for easy, I am going to give it private dot pm. Private dot pm. This is the extension of your key. And how much, like if you want to create a 1024 bit longer, you can type 1024. If you want to create 2048 bit, you can give 2048. If you want to create a longer, like longer bit key, you can type here 4096. I am just creating 1024 bit. Now you can run ls command to check. You can see private.pm, this is file has been created. So this is a private key. How you identify that this is a private key? Just type cat private.pm. And see the first line begin RSA private key and the last line end RSA private key. It means this is a private key and this has been created using RSA algorithm. Remember the name of the private key will be anything. You can give it the name satish.pm or xyz.pm. Okay, extension must be .pm and you can check it by using cat command. So now we have a.txt and the private key. Now we need the public key. I told you, if you have the private key, you can generate the public key with the help of private key. So using the private key, I am going to generate the public key. How? See the command. Open SSL. Okay. So open SSL. RSA. In input, I am giving the private key. Because I told you, with the help of private key, we are going to generate the public key. Okay. With the help of private key, we can generate the public key. So here I have given the name private dot pm, and then I am going to give the name of the public key. Suppose public dot pm, and then output format is so output format is all these are dot pm files. So I have given pe. M and this is public out so pub out done in this way I have generated the public key also so you can see 
private dot pm is the private key public dot pm is the public key so we have the a dot txt file and private dot pm is the public uh, private key and public dot pm is a public key how you identify this is a public key just type cat public dot pm and you can see the output begin public key it means this is a public key of course so now clear the screen now you know we have the public key we have the private key and we have the file a dot txt now I want to encrypt the file a.txt using the public key. How I can do that? See the command. It's very easy. Open SSL. You have to type open SSL. RSA util means RSA utility. This is a command line utility. I want to encrypt. So I type dash encrypt. Encrypt what? And for which key is used to encrypt? So in input key, we are going to use the public key. I told you public key will be used to encrypt the file. Okay. So in key, public key, then pub in, you have to type this and then the input file name, which file you want to encrypt? A dot txt. And it will be encrypted to suppose B dot txt or anything. Okay. Now ls, what you see? A dot txt has been encrypted to B dot txt. So b.txt is actually the encrypted format of a.txt. Now you can delete the unprotected file a.txt. And now you can see we have the file b.txt only. We have deleted a.txt. And now if you check the b.txt, you can see b.txt is completely encrypted. We are not able to see the content. If you want to see this content, you have to decrypt this file. You have to decode this file. And if you want to decode this file, then you need the private key. Remember, see the top line for encryption we need the private key uh, we need the public key but for decryption here we are we need private key so open ssl let's see the command rsa util dash decrypt here we are going to decrypt or decode so i will type decrypt here the input key we need here is private key okay we need here input key is the private key now the input file is b.txt and the output file you can give any name any hell name okay so the input key is private.pm output file suppose you want to give a.txt or satish.txt you can want to give you can give satish.txt also now run ls command now you can see another file satish.txt has been created satish.txt is the decrypted version of b.txt and i have decrypted this file using which command using which key private key now you can check cat satish.txt and you can see we get our the original content so in this way you can create private key you can generate the public key and you can encrypt a file using the public key and you can decrypt the file using the private key that's why this is known as asymmetric cryptography because here you need different keys to lock and different key to unlock the file let me run with the history command now you can see line number 10 to generate the private key line number 15 to generate the public key with the help of private key line number 20 to encrypt the file a.txt into b.txt with the help of public key line number 25 to decrypt the file b.txt to satish.txt with the help of private key private.pm i hope you understand in the next video i will show you how you can also encrypt the private key it means you can also give protection to the private key and i will also show you how you can decode the private key so thank you thank you for watching